Hello, Tom. Hello. Today we are staying at the West Wing Hotel. This is a boutique hotel in Tampa, Florida, located about one and a half miles from the Bush Gardens theme park. So just to give you a quick idea of where we are in the hotel, we are on the second floor. This is room 232. You come up the elevator right here and it's just a quick jaunt down the hall to the right overlooking the Zen Garden, which if we swing the camera around, you can kind of see out the window. And we'll take a little walk around there soon, but it's definitely one of the selling points for the hotel. You can see these big massive windows open up into this great courtyard. As for the room itself, this is a queen bed room. It does have a little kitchenette and a bathroom, of course. As soon as you walk in, you do see the only artwork in the room here to give you that sort of Zen inspiration that you're going to see throughout the hotel. But in the main bedroom area here, we do have a little sofa. It faces the bed, which faces the TV in that corner. Below the TV, you do have the air conditioning unit. It is controlled here from the unit, not from the wall. But this nice built-in desk area overlooks that fabulous courtyard. Just to give you an idea of some of the things that they're going to talk about on check-in, you have access to a fitness center, a lobby market, the garden, daily breakfast, and then there are other amenities that you can use in the hotel, in the hotel next door, the Quality Inn that has a pool and a shuttle service that you can use if you're staying at this hotel. Here on the desk as well, you've got a telephone, a lamp with an outlet, a clock radio, with a couple of USB ports and outlets, which will be important because you'll notice here we don't have a nightstand on either side of the bed. Perhaps you could pull up one of these bar stools to sit your telephone on or your CPAP machine, whatever you might need, if you're not using it here at the bar. On the bar, you've got a couple of bottles of water you could purchase for only $4.50 each. There is an ice maker, I'm sorry, <laughs> a nice bucket, which is important because you have a refrigerator here. Nice size, but no ice maker inside. Also in the kitchen, you have your sink, Keurig coffee maker with some coffee products, and an induction cooktop. Down here in the cabinets, we've got a pot and a pan for you to use on that cooktop. And in the upper cabinets, you have some glassware, some dishes, and some silverware. There's no dishwasher here though, and no cleaning products, so presumably the hotel maid will take care of that for you. You do have a microwave. Let's take a look at the bathroom around the corner. Here you see some nice woodwork along the wall, which is actually mirrored here on the ceiling of the bed area, which is fairly nice. But there is a matching closet here, and when we open up that, you do have some hangers, an iron, an ironing board, and a safe. And the bathroom here. Looks like some granite style counter, marble floors, tile, a few fluffy towels. Here are the toiletries. They are branded the West Wing. Some orchid detail. And as we turn around, we have a nice walk in glass shower. with a very high shower head, great for tall people. And 
that brings us back to the main area. Now, again, this hotel is great proximity to the Tampa area attractions. And we only paid about $78 base price for this room. We did book an outside view room and got upgraded to the interior Zen garden view. So let's go take a look at that. One of the reasons that we chose this hotel, aside from the theme park access, is the Tesla charging stations that are located on the side of the building. There are two of them, but there are no other electric car chargers. So that'll do it for today's review. Thank you for joining us here at the West Wing Hotel and stick with us. Make sure you're subscribed if you want to see further fun hotel reviews. and. Uh, That'll do it. So take care, guys. Good night.